Hello, I'm Wes from Last Mile Photography and tonight I'm in my front yard and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to take pictures of the moon. To photograph the moon tonight I'll be using my Canon Rebel T4i with my Sigma 70 to 300 millimeter lens. It is very important for taking photos of the moon that you have a sturdy tripod. A sturdy tripod will allow you to have clear images of the moon. All right, now that I have my camera pointed at and focused in on the moon, I will show you how to take a photo of the moon. All right, so I'm going to put my camera on the live view mode. And you can see here that the moon just looks like a big ball of light. Well, that's because I have my camera on automatic mode. Um, so to be able to take good pictures of the moon, we're going to have to be able to control our shutter speed and our aperture and our ISO. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera over here to manual mode. All right, and put it back in live view. All right, so now we have the uh, camera in manual mode. When I take pictures of the moon, a lot of times I like to use a shutter speed of around 1 1,000th of a second and an aperture of around 7.1, but you're going to have to uh, make changes on that depending on uh, the cloud cover, the uh, brightness of the moon, and other factors, so you know you just play around with it. And uh, I have an ISO of about 200. You don't need a high ISO tonight because the moon is about half full, so it's... Uh, pretty good and bright so I have an ISO of about 200 and one thing that I love about this Canon is that it has a method to where you can select one part of the frame and blow it up and now you can see all the details of the moon and that just makes it so much easier making sure everything's focused in and you have a good sharp image and then the next thing I do I always make sure that the two second self timer is on just to make sure that none of the movement from me touching the tripod gets into the picture. This can be an issue on this Sigma 7300 millimeter lens because this lens lacks any sort of image stabilization. So I touch the screen and then the timer goes off and then there's our picture of the moon.